All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai Ba'asham, Rahakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the elder men that taught my elder apostles, as well as my elder apostles and elder bishops at Great Millstone. I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect, starting with the 144,000 as well as the one-third, okay? Uh, that's the brother Atazari from Great Millstone, Houston. And um, I just want to go through Second Peter, the third chapter, okay? And I'm going to start at, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 1, okay? And it says, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds, by way of remembrance, okay? And that's what, you know, when those that are uh, called, okay, when they hear this word, okay, their pure minds mean, you know, it gets stirred up, okay? Uh, we become as, you know, like the apostles uh, brought out, educated okay this knowledge is drawn out of us because this knowledge was once in us okay so it stirs up our pure minds by way of remembrance so we actually remember this truth man you know it says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets okay which uh the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. We're, saying, we're those same prophets. Okay? It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Okay? And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Okay? Knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. All right. We definitely had that. All right. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. <clears throat> okay. It says for this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the heavenly father Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water okay and going back where it says they willingly are ignorant okay meaning it's not like this understanding is out ain't out there okay the understanding is out there Okay, it's just that they choose to ignore it. Okay, they choose to ignore it. All right, which really is the most high that's got a block on their brains. Okay, he makes them numb skulls. All right, it says, um, for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the heavenly father. The heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Okay? And we all know the account, all right, of the, of the flood. Only eight souls made it out. Okay? Uh, perished. Okay? But the heavens and the earth, which are now talking about now, this very day, this very second, right now, okay. It says, "But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved." Okay, think about the word "reserve." All right, say so you want to take your lady out. Uh, to this fancy restaurant you call ahead you make a reservation okay 
they give you a certain time. Okay, you show up at that time and you get your spot that was reserved, okay, for an appointed time. Okay. It says whereby uh Salakia. It says uh verse seven, but the heavens and the earth, okay, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved. Okay, so his was reserved, okay, unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition, which is destruction of ungodly men, okay? So this world, the heavens and the earth, okay, the rulership, okay, the conversation, okay, all of this is about to to, to do, uh, 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 it's gonna do a, a, a one eighty, man. Okay. Not a three sixty, cause the three sixty will bring us all the way back around to where we was. It's about to do a one eighty. Okay. This whole everything is about to change. And as we read on, we're going to see change, what it's going to change into. Okay? It says, let me read verse 8. It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and as. And it says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord, Yehovah Shimei Hawashai, as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Okay? It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Where is the coming of the Lord? You know? Uh, we've seen Jake come and go. Okay, in uh, the year 1999, look how many cats fell off. You see? They lost patience. Okay? Because they thought the Lord was slack concerning his promise. Now look. You got cats popping up out of, out of bushes. I'm still down, brother. Shalom. Okay. The scriptures speak about taking your hands from the plow, man. Okay. It says, let me go on. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Okay. You know what? Let me go back up. I didn't read all the uh, nine. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willingly that any should perish. Okay? Because the scriptures say that the Heavenly Father is not a power that take pleasure in death. Okay? We serve a living power, man. Okay? It says, Not willingly that any should perish but that all should come to repentance, okay? Although we know the majority of our nation is going to perish, okay? They just got to go. They're fighting against what needs to, or what is going to be set up in this earth as we go on, okay? They're fighting against it. All right. They the ops. Okay. Jake is familiar with the ops. All right. Um, just teasing. Uh, Second Peter three and nine. The Lord is not slack. Yahweh Shem Shai is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness. And what did the Lord promise? That He would save a remnant. Okay. 
that he would uh, uh, rain it down upon him while he is eating. Okay. Isaiah 63. Okay. That the Lord was going to set up the kingdom of heaven under Yahweh Yahushua, okay? Under his only begotten son. All right? He on earth. And that it will be given to the children of Israel. His people. All right? That's the promise. Which we're preaching that. Okay? And that's going to happen. As we read on. See, things happen in the earth. You know, and when it's something, you know, big, people like to say things... Oh, this is of biblical proportions. Okay. Or, or when they see things happen in the world, they like to revert back to the scriptures to see if the, the Bible said that this would happen. You know. And everything that the scripture says has been spot on, man. Okay. So everything that's been, everything has been happening has been prophesied. And so all the things to come that are prophesied going to happen. All right. Um, so where are we? Verse 10. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, and that's talking about the thermonuclear, intercontinental thermonuclear warheads that are going to annihilate this place. Okay, this place is going to be wiped off the map, man. All right, Isaiah 13, Isaiah 14. All right. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. See, it, the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night to those that don't know that in that analogy, the thief is coming. You see? Because the uh, they're going to be taken by surprise because they hadn't taken heed to the warning. You see, they don't know that the thief is coming. And, you know, and in this sense, it would be Yahweh Shai, okay, with the heavenly host. All right. It's coming back. The Lord is coming back as a thief in the night. It's going to catch those that don't know to be watching off guard. You see? Thief in the night come, you... You know? Then you get got. Time to hear that pop. Okay? Now for old uh, Players Club, old Bernie Mac. Time to hear that pop. You don't want to get caught like that, man. You know? The the remnant won't get caught like that. But the rest of our people, they're going to get caught. Caught out there. Okay? So let's go on. It says, But the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat what would do, what can do that? Okay. It's no coincidence that the scripture is saying this and that 
thermonuclear missiles exist. That intercontinental ballistic missiles exist. Okay? Nuclear missiles exist. <laughs> How could they know this way back then? You see? This prophetic. This is something that was going to come later on. Well, guess what? It's later on. All right. It says, The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. The conversation in this world is going out the window in a terrible fashion. Okay? And good riddance. This place promotes nothing but death. Okay? And these people, what they call living, ain't living. It's just existing. <laughs> We're eating poison, breathing poison. Relationships are toxic. <laughs> okay? Everything is messed up. It's all bad, man. Okay. It says, The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay. So that's the fate. Okay. Of every, you, of this place. Okay. Okay. And the conversation of the world, the meaning, the way that the people of the world conduct themselves, they're going to get in line under righteousness. And they ain't going to have a choice. Yes, it will be a dictatorship. Okay? Righteousness goes from the Heavenly Father on now. Okay? From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh on down. Okay? And the world is, the earth is going to be at rest. At peace. Okay? Which everybody be screaming for. Alright? And we're going to be in rulership and righteousness. Okay? Ain't going to be no more war. Alright? None of that. These nations, they're going to get back to agriculture, servitude, all right? And we're going to be royal, which is an understatement. Okay? In righteousness. We won't go off no more. We'll be in that second covenant. Okay? Change, man. Because this is bullshit. This is bullshit. And this ain't fucking living. And anybody that want to be here another fucking second is out of their goddamn mind. Verse 11. 2 Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. You see? Let me get a scripture. Let me get one scripture. Let me get a scripture. Get a precept. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. The 55th chapter. Alright. Hmm. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring out two verses in this, this chapter. I'm going to bring out Isaiah 55 and 6 first. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? 
Because pretty soon we about to have a famine of the word. Okay? And this is the time of repentance and grace. Okay? Because the doors of, of mercy are closing. Okay? And pretty soon ain't going to be no more out there preaching and the word ain't going to be online no more, none of that. Okay? Which is a good thing because that brings us closer to the, to, to deliverance. Okay? So seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. You got to know the names. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? Okay? To call on the Heavenly Father. You got to call on the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son. All right? In the name of the Holy Spirit. All right? Let me drop down. I want to bring out Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Okay? But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So, as I stated, that proves what I said was right. Okay? Because the proof is the scriptures. Okay? Me saying it is one thing. But we have to prove it with the scriptures. So, um, everything that's prophesied is going that hadn't happened is going to happen. Okay? The rest of their prophecies that are past, us waking up, all right, in the land of our captivities, okay? Our pure minds being stirred up. Those prophecies, okay, that that has happened, okay? Uh, falling away first, okay? And then us waking up. Oh, and the son of perdition being exposed, okay? Being revealed, okay? Those prophecies have happened, all right? But there are other prophecies that have not happened. Okay? And we're on the brink of those. The time of Jacob's trouble. The hour of temptation. The third woe. And the Lord returning in, in the midst of that. Okay? Those things will happen. Because they are spoken in the prophecy. Okay, and the Lord just said his word ain't going to return to him void. Okay, like you write a check and then you get all of the checks back in the, the mail. And the ones that have been, you know, they'll say void on the ones that have been cashed. Okay, his word ain't going to be void. It's going to accomplish that way he sent it. Okay. Let's go on. All right. <clears throat> Second Peter 3 and uh, 11 again. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation? Okay. Meaning the way that we strive through this thing. All right. We don't, we don't walk like the people of this world walk. All right. We, we rehearse the righteous acts. Okay, to we to the best of our ability. All right, we try to live by this standard. Okay, which what? That's what makes us holy. Okay, it says to be in all holy conversation and godliness. Okay. Looking for and hasting, all right, 
until the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right. And I got that word hasting. Let me do this. Let's get it over here first. All right. And this is uh, from the Greek. G4692. Spoido. All right. Strengthened uh, to speed. That is to urge on diligently and earnestly. Okay. Diligently and urgently. All right. I mean, earnestly. I'm sorry. All right. Diligently and earnestly. All right. Being earnest. All right. Being an earnest, honest person. Diligently. Okay. Mean getting it in. All right. Being on. <sighs> so like it. Being on fire for this truth, man. Okay. I see. Normally I would be at work at this time. <sighs> but I had complications with my car. So I wasn't able to go to work. Okay. So it actually is a blessing. Okay. So that's, you know, and I was trying to think of, uh, you know, you try to come with a lesson. And I was just sitting here thinking about the whole situation surrounding me, just myself, you know, just dealing with my whole situation. And that word hasten just popped in my head. We hasten to get the fuck out of here, man. We are ready to get the fuck out of here. Anybody that wants to be here another second is out of their goddamn mind. Then I don't even have to go into nothing. Whoever want to be here another second is out of their goddamn mind. Now, I'll keep saying that. They are, are truly delusional and deranged in their twisted head to want to be here. There's nothing. For what? So, we got hasting. Uh, hasting, all right. So let me do this too, cause I got it on the uh, uh, online etymology. Haste, all right. Hurrying, haste, all right. You know what? I'm not familiar with this word, so let's copy that. Let's do this. Put it in there and pull it up. Swiftness. Rapidity of motion. Okay. Acceleration. Yeah. Hasten. Accelerate. Faster. Go faster. All right. So let's go back. Haste. All right. Um, swiftness, speed, need for quick action. Shh. Yeah, urgency, okay, haste, urgency, hastiness, and I want to drop down, all right, it says, um, hurry, make haste, urge, hurry along, okay, it was another definition, let me see. Trying to find it. I'm sorry. Bear with me. Because, I mean, we got the gist of it. But it was a certain one. Let me see. Can I hasten?
Bear with me, Baba Kusha. Just looking. Because it was another definition. Let me see. No, but there's that word again. So accelerate. So I guess well, I guess that's where you get accelerate. Makes sense. Um, let me do this. I can't find it, but that's all right. Uh Damn it, and I might have had it on there as soon as I clicked on it. Uh, forgive me. That's okay. That's okay. All right, but we got the gist of the word. Let's do this. Let's pull this back up. And uh, let's go on. Let's move on. It says, looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so we look, we we hasting this day. Okay, where in the heavens being on fire, we we hasting that. We hasting the destruction of Babylon the Great, man. Okay. It says, where in the heavens, being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Okay. Where in dwell his righteousness. See? Because this ain't it. So we see what's got to happen before verse 13. Verse 12 got to happen before verse 13, man. And we hasten that so that we can get to verse 13, to the kingdom. All right? I'll read it again. It says, looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Lord. When the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay. So we we look forward to that. We we want that to come now. He says, nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth. Okay. Meaning a refreshed earth. Refreshed. Okay. New Kainos. I guarantee you that's the word for new. Matter of fact, let's let's pull it up. Let's do this. Let's go back. X that out. Let's put in new. N E W. 150 times. Let's drop down to second Peter. One time, new, all right, the crap, clicked on the wrong thing, new, kainos, see, just means to be refreshed, all right, so going back, let's do this, um, Verse 13, 2 Peter 3 and 13, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness. Okay? That's what we hasten then. Okay? That the kingdom of heaven can come quick. That it, and it is. All right? Because we, we gay, man. This is hell. <laughs> and we ready to get the hell out of hell. All right. Lord willing, this was edifying and, and, and uplifting. Okay. And with that, I'm going to close. On to the next one. Until then, I say shower warm.